What's good people, it's another full day of eating because you guys like seeing me eat food. Yeah, I'm about to get some bran flakes. Two pound nine pence or store brand for six to pence. Yeah, I think I'm going with the store brand here, you know. Only two pickles, bran flakes and fruits. When I'm at work, I try and commit to intermittent fasting. So right now it is 2.15. I usually try not eat until like 2 or 3 onwards and then my last meal at home will probably be around 10 o'clock at the latest hopefully so yeah at work I normally keep it very minimal so far you see me eat something very exciting which was a gala apple and then I got this extortionate fruit pot which was ridiculous like £2 for a pot of apples, mangoes, strawberries I know but I didn't know what I was going to get when I went in Tesco and it was either that or getting something bad so I thought if I'm going to pay £2 something I'd rather buy and eat something that fits in my calories. So what I'm going to do now is eat these foods, bran flakes, garlic apples and this fruit pot and probably skip to when we're home now because it's probably more exciting foods rather than me just eating fruit at work. And the reason I eat those type of foods is because, I, as I said, imminently fast and I like having more restricted, low calorie meals at work and then when I go home I get to indulge in like two bigger meals. So I'll see you guys when we're there. You know when you come home from work, hard day's work actually, let me, let me make it sound even bigger than what it is. Come home from a hard day's work, yes hard work, and you open the fridge and there's basically nothing really in there to eat. Like there's two things there but that's not going to fill me up. So what we're going to do is go to Lidl, so I'm going to go pot on the world, comfy as coat. Swag and a hundred thousand, I am so warm. Anyways, let's get to Lidl. Thirty indecisive minutes later, we have the food. Let's see if I can do my magic trick again. Three, two, one, and here is everything I bought. So let's go for it quickly. We've got the garlic apples. You guys saw I am a connoisseur of apples. Always have been. Pineapple is a new thing I've started to eat. You won't believe this, or some of you that know that my fussy eater probably will. Um, the, the first time you ever having a pineapple, the actual fruit, was when I was in Chile for the first time ever. And that's only because I snuck a piece of Mike's pineapple he had chopped up, and then I decided to buy my own. So Mike, if you didn't know that, I was eating some of your pineapple, like at least four chunks. Pineapples, I really started to like it. Nice, sweet taste, but you have to get them when they're ripe. If they're not ripe, they taste dead up. Next up is the meats, so when I got myself some chicken thigh fillets, I didn't get chicken breast because it's more expensive, plus these are more juicy than the breast fillets, so that's just something to note, like chicken thigh fillets are just way more succulent, but they do have a little bit less protein. Then I got myself some prawns, because on sale, and then I thought, you know what, why not make like a little bit of a stir fry, so then I decided to get some sweet and sour sauce. And then the final two, uh, and then the final two things was the semi-skin milk, which I have in my bran flakes, and then barbecue sauce just for just random dippings and whatnot. Look at the games! By the way, if you want a lifting junkie t-shirt, holler at your boy in the DMs. It's my shit. As I am monstrously hungry right now, I'm thinking to probably have a large amount of food. So I'm thinking, make the stir fry, but also make the chicken and then just eat it all in one dose. I think I might have it as like one super meal, then later on I'll have like a smaller meal. And super shouts out to Lidl. I saw it in the background just and I thought it's really like flying the flag, aren't I? But yeah man, Lidl need to holler at me. Everyone out here is looking for gym site sponsorships. I'm out here trying to get that Lidl plug. So Lidl, holler at your boy. Ooh, has the quality improved? I'll switch over to the Canon M6. So what we're gonna do is cut up the chicken. What I'm going to do though is make like jerk seasoning type chicken today. Those of you who watched the previous full day being, you know I picked this up and I haven't tried it yet. So today is that day. It's a lot more powerful. Like a lot of people use, uh, for example, this as their jerk seasoning because it's in most stores. Whereas when you get the proper seasoning and it looks like this, it is a lot stronger and a lot more powerful. And sometimes you use too much, you'll lick off your head top. The chicken's already skinned. If you buy like chicken legs or chicken normal chicken pieces, take the skin off, you don't want that, it's just extra excess fat and calories you don't need. Anyways, first things first, you know the drill people, is mixed herbs and instead of cayenne pepper this time, we're going to put all purpose seasoning as I'm kind, I want this one to be a really tasty meal so I'm going to add more spice to it. Also spice can help with your appetite if you crave a lot of food, adding spice satiates your appetite so you don't feel the need to eat as much. Science. Now as for this seasoning, I've told you about a few times in the last 10 minutes, uh, as it's really spicy as I said, you don't use a large amount of it, all you need is mm, really a teaspoon or under, 
because it is really, really hot. Like, I remember I was dating a girl once, and she wasn't really an expert at cooking, like, baking shit. So she saw a seasoning, dunked this bitch in there, and I was like, you've actually ruined the meal, because it was just so, just head top smacking, you couldn't enjoy it, so I had to kind of suck it up, and like, yeah, it'll be okay. It wasn't. Anyway, so I'm going to put maybe a third of a tablespoon in, and even that, that is a bit much, but I'm still going to use it, because I feel like a bit of spice. All right, here is the chicken. As you can see, I've made sure to evenly season it because I don't want some pieces much harder than the rest. As it's thigh pieces and it doesn't have the bone in it, it cooks a lot quicker. If I put the lid on, it should be done in around 20, 25 minutes. So I'll put the lid on now. And what we're gonna do is make the stir fry. This is a Chinese stir fry I'm gonna be doing. So I've got the sauce and I've got the prawns in veg. Um, if you didn't know, this is the easiest thing to cook in the world. It, takes maybe seven minutes because all you're doing is warming through these prawns because they're already cooked and then you're just kind of almost boiling the veg when you put the pan on and while that food is cooking I'm still getting peckish I'm going to eat some rice cakes these are lightly salted each one is 29 calories they're very very plain it's not like the snacker jack one it's really really flavorsome uh, that would be the normal salted this is lightly so what I'm going to do is put a little bit of peanut butter on it but uh, yeah that is it that was about half a teaspoon on each one and I've just kind of smushed it together and then it's like a peanut butter sandwich surprisingly this has really hit the spot mm. right you guys couldn't smell it obviously because you're on the other side of a computer screen but you can always tell when you've used too much jerk seasoning because it smells immensely strong like even smelling it smells like it's burning so what I'm going to do is add on some jerk barbecue sauce because it'll kind of dial down because it's more barbecue than just pure jerk so yeah as soon as I opened the lid it was just like just pure seasoning that's smell in my nose so you need to dial that down a bit uh, bear in mind if you're doing this recipe at home if you want to do more less calories less sodium choose three seasons at the most so cayenne pepper or all-purpose seasoning and jerk seasoning and then maybe a sauce so you don't need to put as much love on but because I haven't had that much calories today I feel like I'm gonna put it most of it into this meal as for the amount of this now it doesn't have to be much once again it's just a small amount this one isn't as strong as the other ones. Yes, yeah, all right. <laughs> the packet for the stir fry says around five minutes. So I'm gonna give it about two, three minutes. And then I'm going to add in the sauce. And then I'm gonna add in the prawns. The reason you add the prawns in last is because it's already cooked. Like you could eat this cold if you wanted to, straight out of the packet. So you don't want prawns to overcook because when prawns overcook, it tastes like eating little bits of rubber. Yeah, it's about a third. I think that's enough. Here's the prawns, uh, stir fry, a lot of veg. And then the chicken is cooked now. Chef T, you have to pat him back. <laughs> or shoulder. The food is done, man. Everything cooked up. 7, 12 past 7. So here we go. Okay, now we got el pollo and ensalada. And I don't know the word prawn Spanish. Yeah, I'm about to eat this now. So yeah, this is the first proper meal cooked down. Hopefully it wasn't too long. I'm pretty sure it was, but you guys on Instagram asked for a longer raw video, so this is what you get. Surely enough, after eating all of that, I really want to go back and eat more. But I don't think I'm actually hungry. I think it's just because it tastes nice. So what I'm going to do is get myself a bottle of water, drink around half of it, and then if I'm still hungry after that, then I'll do it. But that's a good tip for those of you that always think to eat after, like when you finished your meal, you feel for something package like a snack or a dessert. And just because you're used to doing it, a lot of the times it's just because your body hasn't realized that it's full yet. So usually they say either wait 20 minutes or drink some water and see if you're hungry after that then decide whether you want to eat more food but yeah man i'm really gassed at how good that tasted for that reason just make sure to hit the like button and i feel like going gym a little bit later than normal so for that reason i'm gonna get another meal in but like a small one i'm not gonna have something really really heavy i'm just gonna have some porridge and this is the porridge i'm gonna have it is the muscle food protein porridge and it's got 20 grams of protein in it and all you have to do is add hot water so these are really really handy because i can just buy loads of them and just stock them up in my cupboard and then as and when i feel a little bit peckish and then apples like gonna do it all I gotta do is add hot water to this and it's done in like a couple minutes slight correction is 23 grams of protein 
I've got to mention the extra three grams because, you know, gains are gains. Some of you as well may notice that you probably haven't seen any protein shakes in this full day of eating or the previous one. Even though I do have a good section, like this is my protein section of all the proteins I've got. I've got probably eight or nine different proteins there and I've still got some in the other room as well. But what I want to say is the reason I don't have that much protein uh, powder anymore is because consistently I haven't been taking it in probably almost nine months now like I may have it once every two weeks and I'm really having ate that much meat in the day or, in, or reach my protein goal I don't want to say meat for all you vegans that are watching but very few on my channel I assume but anyway yeah so what I do is I only have protein powder on days when I really know I'm nowhere near my protein goal but anyways I'll definitely see you in the gym next all right people we are now in the gym car park I've just pulled up uh, it's a little bit later than what I planned, it's around half 10 right now. So I'm going to cut down my workout a little bit. I'm probably only going to be here for around an hour. And what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to do top cardio today. Uh, this week, this past seven days, I've been doing like cardio every single day. Um, just because I just want to drop a bit of water weight, this holiday weight that I've been having. Uh, but today, I'm just going to skip that and just stick to some key compound moves and a couple isolations. Once I've got those done, I'm going to go home. I didn't have any pre-workout today because it was just a bit late. And because I don't want to get dependent on pre-workout, I should only have it when I need that boost, not when I'm just tired because that just means lack of sleep and stuff like that. I'm not eating the right amount of carbs in a day and such like this and such and so forth. But anyway, let's go inside, make some gains and uh, see how today goes. Before I do go inside, I want to touch on what I'm going to be doing. It's going to be a pull day, as I said, uh, primarily focusing on uh, width movements for my back because I feel like when I'm leaner, the, the thickness in my back is alright in certain places, especially the mid to upper back. But in terms of width, I feel like I can need to grow my lats a bit more so I have a wider kind of stance, a wider frame. So, not today, but in the coming weeks, I'm definitely going to be adjusting my split after I'm back in the swing of things. And primarily focusing on my weak areas overall in my body. And for pool day, it will be really emphasizing more lat pull downs, cable, uh, barbell rows in a certain position to like, uh, <laughs> I'm so tired. Certain position to address and focus on my lats. Anyway, let's get inside. I'm not gonna film crazy amounts of you because it is a full day of eating, but I'm gonna show you bits. <laughs> Alright guys, I got something to tell you. I went back and did eat the other three chicken fillets because I just felt like I needed to. I was running over all the food out of my head and because I'm intuitively tracking my macros, I'm not putting my fitness part at the moment. I was thinking about all the stuff I ate and really I was nowhere near like my protein kind of aim. I was nowhere near like above 150. I was probably scraping 80, 90 uh, grams of protein which isn't really enough. So I looked over the macros of these foods and the chicken thigh fillets um, for two fillets is, was was 40 grams and well 42 grams of protein and I've just had six now and then for the prawns half a package which is what I've had because I haven't had the rest of the stir fry pack is 14 grams. So at the moment I'm looking at roughly around 125-ish grams of protein solely from this kind of meal I've had now. Uh, which I've had like in two stages. It's cut, basically it's two different meals, but it's the same exact meal, if you know what I mean, because I've had it like an hour apart. Normally I would have cooked something else, like in the fridge I had um, the muscle food chicken burgers, or the turkey breast mince, but I can't lie, I cooked that earlier meal so good, I just wanted to have two loads of it, and I can't even help it. I know it's kind of made the full day of eating less interesting, but when you make a meal that's really, really that good, it just shows what I always say to you guys, when you make macro friendly foods that taste really really good, you, you, you don't want to cheat, you want to eat the food that you've made. And this was a prime example, it was so good, I even ate it twice in a full day of eating. Hopefully, 
From this video, you're kind of getting a gist of the type of foods you can eat. And um, what I'm going to have my bran flakes with is with the almond milk. I forgot I had this, and I haven't had any yet, I don't think. Nope. So, a nice hearty bowl of bran flakes. Recommended on here is 30 grams. I'm almost certain that I put in the bowl probably about 35 to 40 grams. And then when I eat it, because when I eat all the cereal, I normally top it off. So it's roughly around 50, 55 grams of bran flakes I have each and every time with about 150 to 200 milliliters of milk, whether it be almond milk or semi-skin milk. And that's gonna be my meal for the rest of the day. By the way, who else? Warms up their cereal. I've always done this since I was a child, purely because my nan used to always do it. And every time I do it at work or with anyone new, they always say it's crazy. And I've also been told, apparently it might be a black people thing. Nearly every friend I have said that their nan used to do it for them. Because my nan used to do anything to give us something warm, because she said a little bit of warmth in your belly helps you for the rest of the day. Let's have a little quick physique update. Look, it doesn't look too bad. I'm finally getting back my um, leanness, I think. Especially after if you guys saw the previous full day beam. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe, as I've already said. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. And let me know if you want to see another full day beam. Peace!